Fred here has a dream, a dream that many students have. A dream that requires dedication, patience and a lot of hard work. He wants to become a doctor, but he has a slight problem. Whenever he gets his report, his heart stops. For his biggest kryptonite happens to be Matt's. But this time, things will be different. He will mend his shattered dream by doing amazing in his upcoming maths test. You may start the test now. Focus. Focus. You'll never become this if you don't believe in yourself and if you don't follow your dreams. Don't go up so easily. Now, let's focus on your problem. Oh, cell division. A simple exponential equation. Now, if I direct your attention to the board, A cell divides into three each minute. If I started with two cells, how many will I have in 10 minutes? Let's start this from scratch and actually draw it out. We are starting with two cells at the beginning. Since each cell divides into three every minute, we'll have six cells after the first minute, followed by 18 in the next minute, and then 54 by the third minute. And I can't be bothered counting anymore. Let's now put our data in a table of values, where we'll let x represent minutes and y represent how many cells we have. If we were to plot a graph, we'll get something like this. A graph of this shape is known as an exponential graph, and so we have an exponential relationship between each of the plots. This relationship has the general formula of y equals y0 multiplied by a to the power of x. Y0 represents the number of cells we have at 0 minutes, and A represents the constant multiplying factor. Let us now apply this to our question. Our Y0 value is 2, as we have 2 cells at 0 minutes. Our A value is 3, as each of the cells divide into 3. Our X value is 10, as we need the number of cells in 10 minutes. This gives us the answer of 118,098. The exponential growth branches much further than just the math test. It allows us doctors to take measures to prevent spread of pathogenic bacteria, viruses and cancer cells, as we know at what rate they are multiplying. It helps us determine the right dosage of medicine and treatments such as chemotherapy and radiation that is required to cure someone, even saving their lives. So as a doctor, you really need to master this. So, so, you're gonna have to wake up, wake up, wake up. Maths is more than just numbers, it's about keeping dreams alive and saving lives. Oh, oh. <laughs>